Frank C. Matthew, author of the book, Respect the Jooks. I started growing up in East New York, and then from East New York, moved on to Left Rack City and was back and forth. So I always like to claim the BQE, you know, or should I say the Interbar, which the, today is now the Jackie Robinson. So yeah, you can call me a Jackie Robinson kid, Brooklyn, Queens. Being an 80s baby means that you turn from a boy to a man in the 80s. You was there during the crack epidemic and you have to grow up fast. A lot of us, including myself, during that era, there was so much going on in reference to crime that we all got caught up. And I was one of those people that got caught up. I ended up being incarcerated. And throughout my incarceration, you know, I flip flop to positive, back to negative, negative to positive, and you know, trying to figure it out until later on through my bid, you know, I realized, uh, hey, you know, I have a talent. I have something that I could actually go out there with. The start was all about a pencil and a piece of paper. There was no typewriters, there was no computers, nothing. All I had was pencil and paper. And that was the essence of Respect the Jooks and all the other books that I've written um, during my incarceration. You have to work hard. It's, 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 a, it's a hustle. It took me five years to actually get to where I am today before I finally got a major publisher to sign me on. It took me five years of being in the streets with my team, my family, friends, you name it. I didn't care, even if you was an enemy, I sold you a book. My blessing was that I had a family that was there for me. I had friends that supported me, you know, while I was doing what I was trying to do in reference to pushing my book, getting it out there. They supported me, made sure, you know, I had a place to stay, kept me clean. And these are the things that really matter when you get out here trying to make something of yourself that is positive. You need a system in place to support you while you build yourself. Um, basically, the book is based on um, a foreign individual that comes to the United States chasing the American dreams. He goes through the regular, you know, school, military, comes back to a poor economy, can't get a job. He resorts to crime in order to fulfill his American dream. In reference to the literary world, I felt as though that it's dull, it's corny. So what I wanted to do was bring in that hip hop culture because that's where I'm from. I grew up listening to hip hop. I know a lot of the artists, know a lot of the rappers, and a lot of the rappers actually read my book. So J Mills, Vado, you know, two hot young artists that are out there and my audience is actually the younger generation. So I'm like, okay, you know what? We need to team up, do something. You guys love the book, you read the book, you know, everyone running around um, um, using the phrase, respect the jokes. Let's make this thing something hot. Let's turn into something else. You know, we did the video. You know, I see you came in, and next thing you know, boom. This thing is all over the place, man. You have to tie in the Hollywood. You have to tie in the book game. You have to tie in the music because one doesn't really exist without the other. You can't make a movie without music. You can't make a, a, a movie without writing. You can't make an album without writing something. So all of it is actually together. Books are entertainment, music, entertainment, movies are entertainment. We are all in the field of entertaining people. So therefore, we are all beginning to work together and make this one big conglomerate. You got your boy Frank Matthews right here. Check me out on Blow.